Those stories in a moment, but new at 10 tonight, an update on a dispute that has some local youth caught in the middle. We told you last month about Culture Complex over on SBI Day at Crosstown. It's a basketball skills clinic for local kids in Corpus Christi. A rent dispute has put it in danger of closing down, but tonight, some good news. Our Seth Kovar reports a court ruling today awards organizers of that clinic money as they fight to keep their doors open. The court is of opinion that the plaintiff is entitled to this judgment. A judgment against Joanna Maya and her company, A&D Barron Properties 2 LLC, and for the basketball clinic, Culture Complex. Today, New Aces County Justice of the Peace Joe Benavidez ordered Amaya to pay the clinic's co-owners almost $5,000 for court costs, attorney fees, and other damages. It comes after Amaya had some locks changed at the building Corey Haywood and Marcus Ellison leased from her that left them thinking they were locked out of their own training facility. It was kind of... Uh, embarrassing having to go through that, but as long as we got through it, we're fine now, we're okay. The eviction notice ordered Culture Complex to be out of this building December 31st, and right at the turn of the year, their keys no longer open this door. The door led to an office and then to this door that's also now locked. The guys used it every day to access their basketball courts to do their basketball clinic that is in operation tonight. And it has been since last week when Haywood and Ellison discovered their keys still worked on a side door. They'll use the money from today's ruling to try to keep their doors open, knowing today's win does not mean their legal battle's over. Hopefully we can stay there, um, at least our lease ends, but we are, you know, um, trying to figure out the next move. Amaya and her attorney wouldn't comment after the hearing, so we don't know if she'll still try to have Culture Complex evicted. During her testimony, she did confirm why she's seeking that eviction. Non-payment of rent in a timely fashion. Hey, Wood and Nelson say that's not accurate, and they're hopeful that today's result in court is a sign of things to come. There's no doubt in our mind that on our side, we're kind of not in the wrong. Hopefully everything continues to go our way. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.